Hey guys, welcome back to another DMZ video. This time a solo gameplay. As we approach the new Season 2, of course, everything will be wiped. Thankfully, it would appear that none of the insured slots that people were able to unlock will be wiped. So that's a huge relief for all of us who play the DMZ. But nonetheless, I thought I would jump in and just do a little bit of solo play. Welcome to Al Mazra. Explore, secure intel, and loot to gain access to new missions. Enemy threat is high, so expect contact. When I run solo, I want to try to complete at least one mission, possibly two. So I went ahead and decided to go with this destroy supply. But as I approach these trees, I could hear some players off to my right or in the northeast part of the map. So I figured they're probably spawned near Rohan Oil, and the other team is probably going to be more north of that. So I felt more comfortable going for the radioactive materials contract mission on this side of the map. When I'm in houses, I try to make an effort to check all the jackets just in case there might be keys in there that I may need, particularly one for the quarry. So far, this solo gameplay is going pretty well, and I came across a Finnick, which was an excellent, excellent option here. So I go ahead and decide to dump my Lockman, and then go ahead and pick up the Finnick.
Ultra One, be advised, your Geiger counter is picking up radiation. You should be in range of the objective. Actual to Ultra One, you're approaching the target area now. Deploy Geiger counters to locate and secure the material. Some of you guys have probably fought enough bots to realize that when you come out to an area and you see a bot facing in a particular direction with a particular intensity, uh, that's probably because he's facing players. And of course, I did see two off in the distance. And then I started contemplating, well, do I really want to finish the radiation mission, maybe pick something else up, or work my way around them? And I decided, you know what, I'm already here. I'm going to stick it out and try to go ahead and finish it out.
If you guys have ever had to exfil on this hill, you know how vulnerable you can feel, especially with that tower off in the distance where snipers like to hang out. And of course, here in the village, I was trying to avoid any bots as best as possible. I'm trying to drop my Geiger counter, but of course, I came across a bot, which had me a little concerned because it would attract the attention of any players that are also trying to exfil or near the exfil. So I go ahead, I dump the Geiger counter, and then I try to drop my ammo crate. I want to make sure that I have all the ammo I would need in case there are additional bots and or players approaching. So I go ahead, throw down the ammo box, pick up my supplies, take another peek. There's a obviously a bot here, and then of course the heli comes along, much to my satisfaction. And then once you get on the helicopter, of course, the countdown from five begins, and then you're able to exfil. So very successful run, very successful solo play here. I was very happy, very enthusiastic. Finishing off this round with the Fennec was quite nice, although my contraband is getting full. But nonetheless, with the wipe approaching, everything kind of worked out quite nicely. When you have nothing to lose, you're more able maybe to play solo or more apt to play solo. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you are enjoying the DMZ gameplay. Appearing there on the screen would be the channel icon you guys can click on to subscribe to the channel. And, of course, select notifications. That way you know when there's additional content here on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.